palette, I tried Sarah Geronimo's Pop Studio lipsticks, and now I'm trying another local brand. And hindi ko expect na maglalabas itong brand na ito ng makeup line, but they did, and of course I had to try them for you. So today is going to be a quick review of the new Beauty Pop by Pen Shop. Yes, tama po yung narinig nyo. Meron na pong makeup si Pen Shop. It's a smart move for Pen Shop to release lipsticks for their first launch. Kasi yung lipstick yung pinaka-basic na piece ng makeup. Meron talaga mga girls na kahit hindi ito makeup, they would still wear lip color or lipstick. Packaging pa lang ng mga lipsticks na to, alam mong pinag-isipan. Itong pinaka-visual ng mga lipsticks na to appeals more sa mga teenagers, tsaka sa mga young adult kasi ang playful ng color, very gradient, very millennial yung dating niya. For the product itself, meron silang dalawang variant nito. Meron sila ng Hydra Matte and meron din sila ng Light Matte. For now, kumuha lang muna ako ng tig isang shade para lang talaga subukan yung formula nila and see if I would like it. And I chose colors that I would personally wear. For each variant, magkaiba din yung claims nila or meron silang specific claims. For Hydra Matte, itong parang blue and pink, they say that it's hydrating. Of course, it's Hydra Matte. Bold color, which I agree. If you have seen the swatches so of first part, bold talaga yung colors niya. But I would go into detail mamaya maya So sheen, nagtaka ko nung una kung bakit merong sheen dito. Kasi if it's matte, there's not supposed to be a sheen in there. Pero nung tinry ko siya, nagets ko, yes, meron siyang konting shine. And that kind of defeats the purpose of having a matte lipstick. Kasi pag matte lipstick, ang gusto mo yung parang, um, alam mo yung parang skin-like yung dating. Walang glossy or parang walang sheeny na area yung lips mo. Alam mo yun, yung parang natural lang yung dating niya. So, medyo um, contradicting lang yung sinasabi nilang Hydra Matte or Matte siya, but it has sheen. But anyway, let's move on to the other one, which is Light Matte. Ito namang Light Matte, pinaka-claim niya is lightweight. Kasi nga, it's Light Matte, yes. It's long-wearing and it has bold color. And totoo guys, out of the two, I like Light Matte more kasi one swipe, you're good. Parang siyang sunny space in a way kasi um, isang swipe sobrang pigmented niya and I really like the shade that they got. I got it in the shade All Dolled Up. Sa hand swatch naman, kita mo agad yung opacity one swipe pa lang and I really like this particular variant. Now, for the texture, yung parang feeling sa lips, magkaiba rin sila actually. Itong Hydra Matte, more of parang creamy matte yung dating niya. If I compare it to another brand, I would say parang yung creamy mattes ng Maybelline. I'm wearing it right now. This is the shade Mauve. It. It's supposed to be hydrating, which I I can vouch for. Talagang hydrating siya. Eh. Kung yung hanap nyo is yung parang true matte talaga, hindi ito yun. Kasi ito merong hydrating na formula. So, uh, sleepy siya. Ayan na. Pero parang sleepy siya, but not to the point na parang hindi na siya talaga matte. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Ito namang light matte. I would say ito, parang siyang velvety matte naman. So, kung itong isa, very parang creamy matte. Ito, velvety matte. And, mahalin tulad mo talaga siya sa sunnies. Parang may hint ng sunnies to. Kasi, yung uh, pigmentation niya, opaque talaga siya in one swipe. But, also, pag nasa labi mo na siya, velvety yung feeling eh. I'm very familiar with the texture of Sunny's lipsticks kasi I wear them to work everyday. As in, yun lang yung ginagamit ko. I switch it up sometimes, but most of the time, or parang 9 out of 10, yun yung ginagamit ko. So, nung tinry ko to kanina, na-remind agad ako ng feeling ng sunny space sa labi kasi velvety yung feel niya. Kung gusto mong ma-feel yung formula ng Sunny's, pero yung mas mura kasi yung sunny space per bullet, 345 pesos siya and 3.2 grams. Pero itong si Pen Shop, 3.6 grams and 219 pesos siya. So, mas mura talaga. I wouldn't say that they're identical but it comes close to the formula of Sunny's or your feeling at least ng Sunny's face sa labi. So, I liked it. Sa halagang 219 pesos, if you're gonna ask me if they're 
for trying, I would say yes. I actually recommend them. I can only speak for these two shades that I have, Mobbit and All Gunk Up. But if consistent yung formula all throughout the line, kung walang nagbagong formula per shade, then I would say go for it because I gusto ko sila. Pero kung papipiliin niyo ako kung alin sa dalawa yung mas gusto ko, I would say go for the light matte. Ganda ng pigmentation ng light matte. Very opaque and one swipe. It's also very velvety. And I think this one is also more long-lasting given the pigmentation of this one as compared to this. But this one is not bad at all. Itong review na to ay opinion ko lang naman. So feel free to try. Maybe I got lucky with the shade selection or maybe I got a good batch. Pero nagustuhan ko talaga sila. Walang halong etros. That ends my review for today. I hope you guys liked it and found this helpful. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram at underscore, And I'll see you guys on the next one. May you all have clear skin and happy hearts. Bye!